So why are you called camel, mate? I actually run like a camel. It's not to do with drinking ability or anything like that, but uh, yeah, I'm yeah, pretty coordinated being a big bloke. It takes a little bit of time to register to, you know, hit the hit the toes where to go and stuff like that. You want to show us? You're going to go for a run? No, I won't. <laughs> Maybe game's not. So Maybe I'm looking, game's not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, no yeah, no, very exciting. So yeah. anybody you really just want to beat? All of them, actually. Yeah, yeah. I'm, yeah you know, I'm, not, I'm pretty passionate about, you know, destroying some overseas spirit and stuff like that. You know, it's great country that they come down to here, but you know, the spirit of down under, you've got to, uh, yeah, make them least, suffer. Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah, and we didn't get them to do much of that yesterday, but uh, Sandy was good in the first one. Yeah, broke a couple of spirits. I think we just got to break a couple more. Uh... <laughs> I'm Phil Gray, this is Richard Machen, and we sail out of the club at Brisbane, Royal Queensland. Don't work the camera, you're saying? Don't work the camera. Work the camera. And uh, been sailing five hours long, boy? Oh, too long. I would, I would <laughs> totally agree with that, way too long, Jordan. <laughs> you, uh, are you not enjoying sailing the five hours? Absolutely, it's the pulling the boat up the beach at the end of the day is probably hurting us more than anything. Yeah. The, other, the, the other thing, no, the other thing's hurting me is seeing you in front of us occasionally. <laughs> occasionally? <laughs> <laughs> what do you reckon uh, about the standard here at the world so far? Don't work the camera. I reckon our biggest, our biggest change will probably be using my Toyota Hilux to pull the boat up the beach at the end of the day soon. <laughs> now, um, Dick, what's the story with the hat, mate? Well, I like to be an individual, as you know, yeah. and I've had, over the last 20 years, two only hats. One was a, a campaign for the National Party in Nigeria, Sheikh Sharif for 83, 
lost all those and decided to go something nice and floral, which I think suits my persona. Yeah, it is, it is, yes, yes. It's good, it's good look. Mate, um, no, this is this is what we actually use to finish the bottom of our bike. It's um, it, it, it's what it's what like we um, doesn't we, everybody, Jordan? Yeah, that's what's good. You feel a shark skin. They're yeah. rough, you know. So that's what we're going to do. Yeah, no <laughs> so, is there anybody that you really want to send a message out to that uh, perhaps you know in this world that they, you, you don't want to communicate it to them here, but they want to, you want them to discover it? Oh, I think probably the, the, there's a boat, uh, Commonwealth Bank boat. Uh, all I can say is check your boat. Don't work the camera. Don't work the camera. Don't work the camera. I ran into Ian Pennell in the boat park the other day, we haven't caught up for a while and he said to me, um, he was asking how the family was and what they did and he actually asked what Jen was doing and she's a, she's a teacher and, and I was telling her a little story about school the other day and, and uh, she asked a class what all, all, the, all the fathers in the class did and they got the usual answers, they got uh, policemen, firemen, accountant, all those types of things but one little kid, little Billy, he was fairly quiet and she said, little Billy, what does your dad do? And little Billy said, well, he, he's um, an exotic dancer in a gay club. And uh, he takes off his clothes in front of other men. And uh, if, uh, if uh, the men really like him, they take him home, they sleep with him, and um, that's what he does for a living. Well, anyway, Jen had to shut that down straight away, and she took the, uh, the kids out the back and set them some more work and said to little Billy, now, Billy, is that actually really true? And she, he said, no, miss, it's not actually. He's an uh, he's, uh, English cricket player, but I was just too embarrassed to say. You get wee kids every now and then. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> is this the first time you're stuck for words in your life? No, get, no, it's get, not actually. So why do you sail a 505, Carter? Oh, I don't need your help, thanks. Oh, yes, you do. Yeah. We'll talk it up. Answer <laughs> me <Speaking of> question. <laughs> Carter, why do you sail a 505? We love the boats. You go. We really like sailing them. They're, they're a lot of fun and um, they're the ones we keep coming back to. And I particularly love the fact that the Nicholsons are in the class. That's why I come back. It's the enjoyment around the boat park, the enjoyment on the water, and the, the cheap entertainment provided by just complete imbeciles. You know, that you, you, can't, you can't buy that sort of entertainment. It's just people pay good money for that, and I get it for free. So, what about the wet spot on that's why. Go on, show the wet. See, like you said, cheap entertainment. They didn't cost anything. Did it? <laughs> it cost nothing. Just had a Look at that.
you see me in my Calvins, man. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I also really want to thank uh, the Australians for their entertainment. And, and the most entertaining Australian of all is Carter Jackson. So Carter, <laughs> Carter, can you come up here and say a few words? Because you didn't get to come up, and I know how you like to talk. Come on up, Carter. Keep my pants on. <laughs> That's the best stitch up of the night. Thanks, Mike. <laughs> I didn't know. I've got absolutely nothing to say for, uh, for once. <laughs> but um, while I'm here. No, no. Speak, Fester. Go on. <laughs> Come on, Fester. <laughs> I'd like to apologise for Darren Nicholson's uh, rude gestures tonight. Actually, I'd like to say, clearly, if, I, if, clearly. I, if I knew it was on video, I would have stuck it in his ear or in his mouth so he would have shut up. What do you reckon, Fester? It looked like a penis, only smaller, and if you've seen the real thing, it actually is really, really tiny. What, the real thing or the winner? No, your penis. It's I think very, your very small. Know better than that. <laughs> Actually, Carter, I think you should take you and yourself and the wiener and go back in there and entertain somebody. Yeah, 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 no. No, that'd be so a good is, idea. Is the wiener all ready? The wiener's always fine, mate. It didn't actually need your help. It goes it's good. Actually, I've got three it's... beautiful daughters. You've got nothing to prove that yours even works. Yeah, but I reckon it's the milkman. No. There's no way your wiener could have bred. No, DNA testing. I'm fine. No, no, no. <laughs> the wiener's not good for three kids, Carter. Right, we got to pee now. Right, right. Yeah, Come on. Well, you have to do it. You've agreed. Right, here we go. Ask the question. Three, well, you go. Two, what questions are they going to be? I'm not yeah. bloody. Tom mate. from Queensland, the Slam 505. Your skipper's not here at the moment, mate. Yes, Phil. Give us the insight. What's he really like? Adrian well, Fingless. What's he like to start with? Uh, intense. Intense? Very intense. Yeah, really? you could say that, yeah. Uh, what else do you want to know, Phil? Like, oh, just, just the insider, you know? Like, is he, is he think, he's, uh, think he's on the pace? Uh, yeah, we think we're on the pace. Yeah, we right. just can't go the right direction. Yeah. Would you uh, do it again? Would you do it again? I would do it again, yes. Yeah, would. Still. Yeah. Right. I would You're do it again. for punishment. Pardon? You're a glutton for punishment. I know I'm a glutton for punishment, but... Uh... Right. And tell us the secrets, like, um, apart from sailing, like, is it true that Adrian really likes um, older women? It is. And, like, older being like 65, 60, 60? It is, 60, it is. 60, yep. yeah. 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 Even when we go out, we sort of go our separate directions, you know, you head to the nursing yeah, home, whereas I head to the uh, <laughs> big nightclub, so... And how does young Adrian do at, at the nursing home? Um, does he go well? Oh, look, Phil, you know just as well as I would that Adrian goes right to the uh, nursing home, so... <laughs> uh, yeah. You're the one that tipped me into this, so yeah. There you go. Thanks, you, you know as much as I do. Mate, yeah. you go rig the boat because Adrian's standing right behind you. <laughs> <laughs> Good work, though.